Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I have an iOS game for you. It's called Into the Dead. It is an endless runner game in which you're running through these creepy fields trying to avoid zombies. So here you see uh, we have a bunch of weapons that we can unlock by uh, you know, completing certain goals throughout the game. There are a few in-app purchases. These coins here help you buy that equipment quicker, so that's kind of the deal. And you will see ads down at the bottom because this is a free game. There are a few different ways to control your character. You can use the tilt option or my favorite, the touch option there on the left is uh, left. Just click on the left side of the screen to go right, click on the right, and to fire your weapon, click on the center. And then there's a few other, uh, the thumbstick and thumbstick mirrored. You can play around with those and see which one fits your playstyle best. Here are the game modes. Right now, the only one that is available is just the classic mode. Right here is the screen you'll get before you go into the game. You'll need to equip a uh, weapon or in tribute. Uh, some of these uh, help you out. Some of these allow you to equip weapons and that sort of thing. So here you see we are running through a creepy forest or field and as I am, you know, Pressing on the left or right hand side of the screen, my character will then follow. The obstacle, obviously, is to avoid getting captured or eaten by these creepy zombies that you see here on the screen. You will see here shortly that I run into one, and when I do so, it annihilates me very, very quickly. So the game itself, uh, again, is the graphics are amazing. I, I just love the way they've done the, the style of the graphics on this game. They just look great. Uh, there's going to be, as you progress on through the game, you'll be able to use weapons, as you'll see here shortly. You'll also have more obstacles to avoid, like the fence that you just saw there. But boom, if you get eaten, there you go. They take you, and they just chew you up and spit you back out. It's kind of gross. Anyways, once you're done with uh, the level and you die, it'll say how long you have survived, how long you've ran, and then which of the missions you've completed. Once you complete certain missions, you get the coins, which in turn you can spend on all of those weapons that you saw there. So there's a chainsaw, as you can see, uh, that you can unlock if you have uh, you know get so many coins, per se. So you try to get as far as you can in the level. So as you see up in the upper left hand corner uh, your distance is will increase and here's a gun that I just picked up and as you can see here I'm shooting it and firing off and killing any zombies in my path so I believe that's one of the better features is being able to use the weapons uh, so I'm gonna show you a little bit about here is the leaderboards it is synced up with the game center so you can uh, compare your stats with your friends but anyways guys the name of the game is into the dead it is an endless runner where you're trying to avoid zombies if you like this video hit the thumbs up button down below. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you want more content like this, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.